طبعا بعد ما ال WHO declared the coronavirus as being a pandemic they was consequently associated with several mental health cases related to the pandemic first the health care workers they were in the first line for defense and they were truly working in very challenges uh, condition. This was one of the causes that increased the risk of experiencing uh, risk for mental health problems. Uh, we will go through the challenges, the challenges that face the COVID-19 pandemic frontline uh, healthcare workers, uh, working for extremely long hours in high pressure environments. Uh, exposure to trauma or facing moral dilemmas related to challenges in the delivery of high quality care, possibly due to the lack of experience or equipment as a result of low staffing levels. Um, w w this was mentioned in the previous uh, presentation, redeployment in health care uh, in the quarantine and they used to to work in, in other different hospitals, for these were stressors. The, the shortage of biosafety equipment, scars of infection control systems, um, we are dealing with a virus that they don't know what's the mechanism of action or how the, it's transferred. Uh, early, there was no vaccine. A lack of recognition of programs and work incentives, uh, incentives and finally physical and psychological abuse and discrimination by patients which had an impact on their mental health. Insufficient information about the virus, as I mentioned, high workload, constant exposure to critical events such as death, fear of being infected and infecting their, their families. Moreover, to the, to, they were trying to maintain their personal responsibilities. This showed an impact. Um, there are well-known stressors for the work context that can be defined as psychosocial factors of work. The effect could be manifested as stress, depression, anxiety, post-traumatic st stress, and aggravation of those who had already suffering from mental health disorders. Weakens and incapacitating healthcare workers who are exposed to a great risk due to the inadequate working conditions. The psychosocial consequences on their mental health are likely to be very serious, forcing many of them to quit their jobs. Healthcare workers experience emotional exhaustion which may lead to medical errors, lack of empathy in treating patients, and lower productivity. And let's remember that they were the first line for defense of this virus. Stress, fear, anxiety, and depression. Uh, I was highlighting the most common mental health disorders which were consequently evident from the pandemic uh, during the exposure to the COVID-19 with risk factors were more in being younger age, employed as a nurse, being the front line, and female gender. Anxiety showed around 12% uh, prevalence in frontline healthcare workers. Medical staff had greater fear, anxiety, and, depre and depressive levels than the administrative staff. Uh, healthcare workers working on front lines in departments more impacted by the COVID-19 as the emergency rooms, intensive care units, and infection disease were at greater risk for those disorders. Uh, a total of 500, uh, 5, 000, uh, 5, 562 healthcare workers were sur surveyed by Zoe Ital uh, to measure the psychological impact of COVID-19 as 29 0.8% of respondents reported stress, 24% reported anxiety, 13% reported depression, and these are not low uh, percentages, these are high percentages. Women, individuals with history of mental disorders and healthcare workers with infected family members were more vulnerable to undesirable health consequences. Burnout. Um, which was extremely surprising that levels of burnout and emotional distress were not highly elevated in the healthcare workers. Connecting with family members via technology and telephone was the most prevalent coping mechanism. So on experiencing burnout, it had it showed low levels. Comparing the frontline with other healthcare workers, frontline uh, had significantly higher levels for burnout. This is possibly due to uh, that the frontline healthcare workers may uh, experience or perceive more control over the situation as taking their decisions than the others. Sleep. 
uh, results showed that healthcare workers were more likely to experience poor quality of sleep and develop psychological issues. Uh, advanced, uh, advanced prevalence of sleep disturbance were uh, evident in front frontline healthcare workers compared to non-frontline. Uh, female frontline, as I previously mentioned, had more risk factors for the prevalence of mental disorders. This was a con study conducted uh, for mental health of frontline healthcare workers exposed to COVID-19 uh, in Egypt. Uh, a call for action was con conducted by a group of, um, of doctors, uh, Dr. Hussein Khouli, Dr. Islam, Dr. Walid, Dr. Mohammed Sabri, Dr. Suzanne, uh, Dr. Maha Sayyid, and Dr. Abdul Nasser Omar. The aim of the work was to uh, evaluate the mental health outcomes among Egyptian healthcare workers treating patients with COVID-19 or suspected to be infected with COVID-19, screening for symptoms of anxiety, insomnia, depression, and stress, and analyzing the potential risk factors. Participants uh, were the healthcare workers that included doctors, nurses, and non-specialized non nurses, and excluded the healthcare workers that already been diagnosed with a psychiatric illness previously. The sample was uh, around 30 to 50 healthcare workers from each hospital included. Stools that were used, we use the sociodemographic data for the participants and the patient health questionnaire, the seven item generalized anxiety disorder questionnaire, the insomnia severity index, and the perceived stress scale. Severity of measurement and associated factors. Um, on comparing the different categories of depression, anxiety, and insomnia, and stress according to the age group, uh, they showed higher levels and significant levels for depression and stress uh, with older age. On comparing to the sex group, we were concomitant with previous studies that the female had showed more risk factors uh, for uh, developing mental health disorders than males. Associated factors to different symptomatology that the age group uh, ranging from 26 years old to 30 years, years old has significantly higher scores on the PHQ depressive scales and the perceived stress scale. Female participants showed significantly higher scores. Fever hospital workers had significantly higher scores in the generalized anxiety disorder questionnaire, PHQ, and the perceived stress uh, scale compared to other hospital workers. Physicians had significantly higher scores for the depressive patient health questionnaire compared to nurses, intensive care units, doctors. Doctors had significantly higher scores in on, on the rest of the scale, the generalized anxiety patient health questionnaire and the perceived stress scale. Risk factors of mental health outcomes according to the previous research showed that uh, patients, uh, female patient had risk for uh, anxiety symptoms more than males. Uh, age, uh, age group ranging from 31 years to 40 had more symptoms related to insomnia. Depression was more in females and to doctors that were in chest and fever hospitals. Higher stress rates were in patients ranging from 26 to 40 years old and in female patients more than males. Uh, reaching to the conclusion, physician female gender and working in fever hospitals dealing, the, dealing, and suspect, uh, dealing with suspected patients with COVID-19 showed higher rates of symptoms of depression, anxiety, and insomnia and stress. And so this is a call for protecting the healthcare workers. Special intervention uh, strategies for healthcare workers uh, wellness was, um, was to be mentioned. Um, and this was the call and the aim of the research. Of the research. I, we, we knew that the healthcare workers are at an edge to develop mental health disorders. So strategies was put to enhance the awareness of early symptoms of depression, anxiety, and stress. Individual coping strategies such as acceptance, behavioral activation, mindfulness effective during the crisis. Enhancing feeling of connectedness and encouraging action that are goal-directed and value-driven. Adding on to peer support programs that could help in, that could help the healthcare workers in changing their psychological reactions to the stressful situation that they are facing. 
immediate and individualized access to mental health resources, short-term and long-term individualized wellness of men and mental health intervention to address the physical and emotional tolls of COVID-19, organizational study strategies to optimize wellness for health care providers in areas of nutrition, exercise, mindfulness, sleep quality, and reducing the burnout, accessible personal protective equipment for all the health care workers, provide security and reduce likelihood of infection for themselves and their families, opportunities to research and implement telehealth in a variety of settings to limit exposure. At least, uh, at finally, reducing the stigma of mental health and the psychological impact of significant stressful events, development of new healthcare workers, community groups, and encouraging of participation to allow connection to reduce feelings of isolation. It is interesting to consider that training with biosafety measures, correct the application of infection control procedures, training the healthcare workers with those, having personal protective equipment and recreation of their efforts at institutional and governmental levels, and can, this can generate the security for these um, frontline healthcare workers. Thank you.